How you going guys? Just a review on the new Mauser M18 and the Tika T3X. Okay, I've got them um, on top of each other so you can sort of see the lines. Um, you can sort of see the T3 stock there, so very similar. The nose and the comb. Um, slight difference in the way the recoil pad this is probably more curved for your shoulder the mauser so that's a standard recoil pad there it's fairly hard uh, that's an aftermarket limb saver there a um, little bit more raise on the tika here uh, actually no it's not actually it's actually the same it's just the camera angle uh, but what it's noticeable is um, you've got more of a sweep here and the pistol grip, um, elastic inserts. Um, I really like this sweep, uh, similar to the R93 and R8 I used to own. Um, so that, that I prefer that. Um, sort of three position safety versus two position safety. Uh, this stock looks uh, very good quality. I'm not going to say it's better than the Tika. But it looks, um, yeah, very similar sort of to the Blaza stocks, actually. Um, elastic insert all the way here. And quite noticeable is a uh, much shorter foreend on the Mauser M18. So, you can sort of see it there. I prefer the shorter foreend. Um, five five um, stack mag, um, staggered, uh, three so it's straight in line. Um, one piece uh, trigger guard with a stock, which I don't mind, that looks very robust. Um, separate piece there, steel trigger for the Tika. Like a hardened polymer trigger there. Looks like uh, the stuff they use in the Smith & Wesson M&Ps. So the little logos there, the Mauser logo. And the Tika logo, steel uh, sling swivels, obviously in different spots, quite different. Um, now this is the kicker with uh, this new Mauser M18. It's only $895 at the moment. Let's get the, uh, the crowns here. Um, quite hard to see. I said I can open this window a little bit. There we go, a little bit more light in. So. Inleddings are excellent on both. Cold hammer forged barrels on both. From what I'm told, uh, they're both um, milled from a solid billet of steel, so. Mauser and the Tika. Put them side by side. We can get a comparison here. And I'll start it all again. Now what I say guys, obviously it's my opinion, so just bear with me. Uh, do as best as I can just to bring the uh, the viewer uh, what they want to see. Um, I know when I watch videos, there's certain things that I want to see, so I'll just I'll try to address that. Obviously it's all safety clear. We've got the, uh, the Bolt magazine over there. I'll, I'll show you those later. So quite hard, this, guys. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Aftermarket limb saver. They're about 100 bucks, I guess, in Australia. Uh, this here, this comes off. Um, three 3006 rounds fit nicely in that. They don't rattle, which is uh, can be a plus for some people. So you can keep a ball snake in there. I think they advertise that as a ball You know, you keep a ball snake in there, but, you know, rounds would be handy. Um, Interchangeable uh, in the Tika T3X, obviously elastic uh, fixed inserts. Um, again, let's see if we can see the sweep on the, uh, so it's, it's, it sweeps a lot more here. Again, you know, each to their own, but uh, I like the sweep. Um, three position safety on your, uh, your Mauser. Heaps of meat purchase um, for your third auxiliary lug. Um, two position safety. Not quite as much purchase there. 
um, can be top fed. Uh, pretty hard to top feed the tea because I've never uh, needed that, but some guys love it. Some guys want you know a rifle they can top feed. For me, it's uh, yeah, it's, it's all the same. So I, I hunt mainly deer. So usually uh, four rounds will do me. Um, again, this one holds five plus one, three plus one with a standard mag, but you can get a five mag round. So you have the same amount. This hangs down a little bit lower. Now I'll compare the magazines. Um, T3 magazines are renowned for being robust. Uh, I knew a guy that ran over one um, in his four-wheel drive. I uh, found it on the track, picked it up, was in pieces, uh, just snapped it back together, good as gold. So, um, yeah, there you go. So magazine quality is on par, I would say, um, between the Tika and the Mauser. Uh, let's get to the bolts. Three lug uh, design versus a two lug. Uh, one ejector on the Tika, two ejectors on the Mauser. Um, longer extractor on the Tika. Uh, shorter on the Mauser, but it's about as wide. Now the Mauser looks like it's trying to uh, stick to the three rings of steel or close enough, um, I, I think. Um, so uh, you can see the gas ports there. There's two gas ports on the Mauser. Um, I'll show you those. One there, and then you got your master gas port there. So obviously vents through the uh, the firing pin, as uh, the Tika does as well. Um, you can see that's coned as well, opposed to uh, square. <clears throat> um. The shroud on the Mauser M18 obviously uh, goes with the Mauser principles. It's um, so left side of the raceway, it's all covered, which not too many firearms uh, rifles are like that today, so it's good to see. Uh, polymer, hardened polymer. Bolt handle looks to be either wedged in there um, or screwed. I dare say screwed. Really easy to take the... Uh, to inspect the firing pin, uh, actually easier than the Tika and that's saying something, it's, it's super quick. So I've got another video on that, so have a look at that one. Um, the bolt stop, it's for your bolt stop here, the guide. So uh, the bolt on both rifles, um, like the Tika's uh, well engineered, you know, dovetailed, steel uh, shroud, not as much protection on the left side of the raceway. Um, not quite as heavy. This one's definitely heavier. It's more, uh, seems to be, um, a lot beefier than areas. So, uh, love Tikas. Um, have owned quite a few of them. Uh, fantastic rifles. Never let me down. Um, magazine. I'm going all over the place here. Sorry about that, guys. This snaps in there. Sits fairly flush, eh? So, it just pops out through that little tab there. So, um... Like that, obviously we know the Tika, um, straight in there, again, just pops out like that, so um, yeah, uh, 895 dollars versus a thousand and eighty bucks, so it's about 185 dollars difference. That can buy a good, um, good set of mounts like these, uh, worn Maximas and some factory ammo to get you started, so uh. Could be the difference with some people, uh, what they buy. Um, but yeah, both fantastic rifles. Like, yeah, this is seems to be a real winner. Now, I'll see if I can put these bolts back without... There we go there. Now, look at the purchase. This has got there, the steel there. Um, again, I was touching on that before. Okay and a three position safety. So I find, actually find this safety to be really good. Um, I've taken it hunting a few times now and um, yeah, I find it actually a little bit, uh, a little bit nicer than the, um, the Tika safety and I love the Tika safety. So again, you can sort of see the steel purchase there. Compared to sort of there. So that's your third auxiliary safety lug, I guess. 
three big lugs, two big lugs. Obviously, there's a little bit of purchase there still, but not quite the same. Um, big, big ass shroud here, guys. So um, you get gas uh, head case separation down the left side of the raceway, which can happen. You haven't got as much safety there. But again, steel versus uh, hardened polymer polymer. So I personally think this looks like a a much stronger rifle, the Tika. Uh, whether it's a better rifle, I can't say. Again, love my Tikas. I'll definitely be buying another one of these. Um, this is 3006. I don't usually shoot 3006. Uh, I usually shoot 9.3s, so I'm going to get another 9.3 when they come out. And um, yeah, um, shorter forend as well. I've touched on that. Love that sweep there. Uh, the way this bolt sits really low. On the um, on the Mauser uh, also sits low on the Tika, but I just prefer I just prefer this, and it's got a polymer end steel aftermarket everything for the Tikas. So um, made in Finland, nine point three. Made in Germany, thirty eight six. So, uh, yeah, I think I've touched on everything, guys, but um, I'll go over the, I'll put them as close as I can and get this. Even the way this sort of bolt sits out from the, it's a little bit different than sort of hard to, you can sort of see it there. Um, even it's got a wider area here that's smaller. So whether it's a plus or a minus, you guys figured that out. I, I actually like both. I can't see any difference, but this might be better for gloves. I'm not sure. Some guys might not like this. Might like the steel over the polymer, but polymer is just a uh, just a way of the times. And I can't see this uh, breaking. It's um, the whole uh, guts of the mechanism and this M818 is actually impressive. I pulled it apart as I do with all the rifles I buy. Steel recoil lug, steel recoil lug. Similar sort of system. This uses um, a, uh, basically a screw, a nut system here where that's uh, two bolts. So where this is a nut and a nut and then you've got the, the shank hanging off the action itself. So um, yeah. Um, You got your mouth symbol there. A little bit of a uh, little bit of rust pitting there. Um, okay, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. I think. Um, I think I've touched on everything. Oh yeah, no, one more thing. The trigger. Okay, obviously it's all safety clear. We know that. So, take a trigger's hard to beat. Fantastic, I love them. Also, a very, very nice trigger, but I still prefer the Tika slightly. I don't know why, I just do. Uh, I've owned Seikos and Tikas, and again, uh, they've, they've never let me down. Uh, my go-to rifle is a 9.3 by 2 Tika. Uh, this is my son's 9.3, actually. So, um, this is just a little bit of a fill-in fun gun at the moment. Um, whether I keep it or not, once I get the 9.3, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, hurry up, Mauser, uh, Germany. Uh, bring out the 9.3 in the M18. Uh, it'll be very sought after in Australia because a lot of a lot of, a lot of Samba hunters like using the 9.3 these days. So a um, little bit more knockdown power um, for the sort of short distances. So um, there's your gas port there, guys. So... Um, have to vent out gas, and obviously we talked about the shroud. Uh, sorry if I go over things. Um, and you got your gas port just there with your uh, with your Tika. So um, and there's no gas port sort of sort of there. Uh, they don't have it on the mouse. It's just basically in the bolt system there. And like I said, it's vented through the firing pin. Uh, obviously, some goes into the mag. Obviously, this happens as well. But yeah, with this, it uh, looks to be a bit safer in the shroud end. So um, whether that's a consideration, I know um, guys have had head case separations before. Um, I've never have, but I know quite a few guys that have had them So at the range. So just be careful there. 
both fantastic rifles, thousand and eighty bucks, basically eight ninety five at the moment. Um, yeah, buy either guys. Um, absolutely outstanding. Um, made in Germany, made in Finland. You can't go wrong with either one of these. Love to see uh, Mauser Germany bring out a Batu model in nine point three with a twenty inch barrel. It'd be it'd be amazing. Um, when I get my 9.3 in this, I'm gonna dock the barrel to 20 inch uh, to copy the Batu because I find that the 20 inch barrel just suits me. Um, but yeah, uh, under a thousand dollars, just over a thousand bucks, guys. So uh, get aftermarket everything with this. Obviously, this is a new kit on the block. This is uh, the Mauser's brought out to take on Tika. So um, yeah, I think I think Tika, uh, Finland have got a little bit of a, a fight on their hands here. So you've got um, you've got two very good rifles. So take your pick. Okay, guys, good stalking and um, look, sorry if I didn't touch on anything. Chime in. Uh, sorry about any uh, mistakes I made, but I'm just going of what I know off the top of my head. I don't I don't make notes. Uh, I'm pretty sure I compared the um, the crowns. Yeah, I have getting 16 minutes now so I never do short videos so good stalking guys